Hi and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking Vegas text effect using Adobe After Effects. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have to do here is we have to create a new composition. 1920 by 1080 pixels will be fine at a duration of about 10 seconds. Once we've got that, we need to add some text onto our composition. So I'm just going to right click and add a text layer. Now the font that I'm using here is Milestone and I've like separated it a little bit just so you can see that running writing style, but you're free to choose whatever font that you want. The only thing that we need to do is we need to align it to the center of our composition. Once we've got that, the next thing that we need to do is we need to pre-compose that layer. So I'm just going to right click pre-compose and then I'm going to call it text. Once we've got that, we need to look for an effect called Vegas and we need to change a few things. The first thing that we're going to change is the segments. We're going to bring it to one. Then what we need to do is we need to change the blend mode to transparent. I'm going to bump up the width to about three and I'm going to change the end opacity to about one. And then what we need to do is we need to figure out the colors that we're going to use. So I'm here in color hunt and I'm just going to choose this color palette. So all I need to do is just copy this and paste it into After Effects. So now that I'm happy with my color, the next thing that we need to do is we need to start animating. So the first thing that we need to do is I'm just going to move forward in time to about two seconds. And then I'm going to hit the length and the rotation stopwatch keyframes. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move back to the start of the composition and I'm going to change the length to zero and the rotation to negative 90. And so if you've done this correctly, you will see the Vegas effect doing its thing. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to press U on our keyboards to bring up our keyframes and we need to easy ease these keyframes. And then once we've done that, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the graph editor and I'm going to bring each of the sides a little bit closer together. So just so we have a little bit of acceleration in there. So now if I preview that, you can see it starts off slow and then it gets a bit faster and then it ends off a little bit slower. So once you're happy with that, what we need to do is then duplicate that and repeat some of the steps again. So the first step that we need to do is I'm just going to hold shift and press page down and this is going to move forward in time 10 frames and then I'm going to offset that layer by about 10 frames. The next thing that we need to do is we need to change the color. So I've just got the next color from Color Hunt and I've put it in there. The next thing that we need to do is we need to bump up the random seed. So I'm going to up that to about two and then I'm going to change the width to about four. And so now if you preview this, now we've got two sets of colors that come in at different times. So that's looking pretty good. And now we're going to duplicate it again and repeat the process. So we're going to duplicate that control D to duplicate. I'm going to press shift and page down to move forward 10 frames. And then I'm going to offset that layer to there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color. So now the next color is purple. So I'm going to change the random seed to make it a little bit different. And I'm going to bring up the width to about six. So now we're gradually getting thicker as we move forward with this animation. So now we're going to duplicate that again one last time. And again, we're going to do the same things. So the first thing that we're going to do is I'm just going to offset this by 10 frames. So bring that up. I'm going to change the random seed to four and we're going to do a few other things here. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to change the color. So now I've, I've got the color in there. And then what we are going to do is we are going to animate the width. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to press the stopwatch for width and then I'm going to press U to bring up my keyframes. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to about two seconds and I'm going to increase the width to let's say 12. And then I'm going to easy ease these keyframes also. So now we've got four different colors all going in, but we can see that this last one is a little bit blurry. So what we need to do is we need to put an effect called simple choker and we're just going to come down to the choke mat and we're going to increase it by about four. And so now if you've done this correctly, now you've got a really cool looking animation with all the text layers working in. Now you can change this if you want. You can bring it down, or you can bring it up, but I think four is a good value. So now the final thing that we're going to do here is we are going to duplicate that text layer and we're going to offset 
it also again by about 10 frames. And then what we are going to do is we are gonna press U on our keyboard. And then I'm gonna move the width all the way to the end of the composition. And this time, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change a few things. Firstly, the random seed is going to be five. The color is going to be white and the width is what we are going to change. So I'm gonna bump up this width until everything is covered in white. So I'm gonna bring it to, let's say 90. Now, once we've got that, then what we need to do is we need to highlight the width keyframes. And I'm just gonna come over here to the graph editor. So now that I'm in the graph editor, what I wanna do is I wanna just bring these a little bit closer together so we're just gonna have that little bit of acceleration, but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna bring this one up a little bit like that. And so now if you go and preview this, it's gonna be slow for a while and then it's just gonna kind of speed up. So you can play around with some of these uh, settings if you want and choose something that you like. So now once we've done that, what we need to do is I'm just gonna get out of the graph editor and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pre-compose all of these text layers and so I'm just gonna call it final text. And once we've done that, then what I need to do is I need to go back to my first layer and just get the text out of the first layer. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to go to my last composition and I'm just gonna paste it in. So I wanna come down and I wanna find the track mat. Now, if you don't see the track mat, you can always press F4 or you can toggle the looks. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the track mat of the final text composition to alpha matte. And if you've done this correctly, now you will have this cool looking animation that kind of comes in and you've got the letters kind of filling out as well. Now, if you're happy with that, you can leave it there, but if you wanna go back in and change the graph editor or anything like that, then you can always go back to your previous compositions and you know play around with some of these settings. But I'm happy with that. So the final thing that we need to do is we need to pre-compose that. So this is now the real final. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to create a new solid and I'm gonna call this background. And what I'm gonna look for is an effect called gradient ramp. And then I'm just gonna put that onto my composition. And then I'm gonna get my colors from Color Hunt. So once you're happy with your colors for your background, the final touches that we need to do is I'm just gonna come over here to my final text pre-composition layer and I'm gonna search for my effect called motion shadow. So I used this in a previous video and if you don't have it, it is a free plugin. You can download it and um, it looks pretty cool. If you don't have this, then you can also use drop shadow. But anyways, you can play around with some of these settings, but if you wanted to follow my settings, what I did is I changed the distance to about, I think 40. And what I also did is I animated the opacity. So I'm gonna just maybe go to about one second and I'm gonna hit the stopwatch. I'm gonna put it down to about zero. And then what I'm gonna do is once the white all appears, I'm gonna bring that up to, let's say something like 80. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press U on my keyboard, easy ease these keyframes, and I'm gonna put the graph editor back on, and then I'm just going to move one of these points a little bit over, just so it kind of slides in a little bit nicer. So now you can play around with some of these settings, and you can see what it looks like here. So now we've got the shadow coming on, and then by the time that the white is going to fill up the entire thing it's got the nice uh, 3d kind of looking uh, drop shadow with it so the final thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a adjustment layer and i'm going to search for an effect called noise and i'm just going to bump that up to about let's say eight percent so that will make it a little bit more noisier and i think it looks pretty cool with the animation and the final thing that we're gonna do is we're just gonna add a scale animation. So I'm just gonna click on S for scale and then I'm gonna hit the stopwatch. I'm gonna move forward in time to about 10 seconds and I'm just gonna bring it up to, let's say 115%. Now you don't wanna make, you wanna make sure that the text does not go outside the composition. So now if you preview that, the text is scaling in as well. 
So anyways guys, that's about it for this quick tutorial on how to use the Vegas effect to create a nice stylized text animation. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.